let's look how we subtract fractions in mixed numbers with like denominators, and we'll look at this thing called regrouping as well. We did look at whole numbers minus a fraction already, and what we did to work with whole numbers minus a fraction is we renamed the whole number into a mixed number. So 3 can be rewritten as 9 thirds, 9 thirds minus 2 thirds is equal to 7 thirds, and then we had to simplify that 7 thirds into 2 and 1 third. This type of problem is easy to do as well, in which case we're just going to go ahead and subtract the whole numbers, 4 minus 1, which is 3. And then since we have 2 fifths minus 1 fifth, we can do that. 2 fifths minus 1 fifth is 1 fifth, and 3 and 1 fifth is in simplest form. Now, if we have something like this, where it is that we have 8 and 1 seventh minus 3 and 2 sevenths, this is where we're going to run into a little bit of problems here because typically we would go 8 minus 3 and then we would go 1 7th minus 2 7th. 1 7th minus 2 7th, we can't do that, so we're going to have to actually regroup from this 8 and make it into 7ths. Um, and the way that we can do this is two ways. We could either go ahead and make improper fractions for both of these subtract them, and then make that back into a mixed number, and I'll show you that. Fifty-seven minus twenty-three being, let's see, thirty-four sevenths. Seven goes into thirty-four four whole times with the remainder of six. So our answer would be four and six sevenths. Now that is one way where we make improper fractions. Now our other approach is that we know each whole is worth seven sevenths. So we can actually rewrite eight holes so that we can regroup this so that we write eight holes as seven holes plus one whole. This is really just seven plus one and one seventh. And um, one one seventh can be rewritten as eight sevenths. So now we have this as seven plus one seventh. So let's see, seven plus eight sevenths minus three and two sevenths. In this case, we can go 7 minus 3, and I'm going to rewrite it up here, which is 4, and then 8 sevenths minus 2 sevenths, which is 6 sevenths. So 8 and 1 seventh minus 3 and 2 sevenths is 4 and 6 sevenths. Okay, 6 and 2 ninths minus 3 and 5 ninths. Again, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and write 6 as 5 plus 2. 1 and 2 ninths. This way we can go ahead and regroup. Now the reason we know that we need to regroup is 2 ninths minus 5 ninths would be, um, we can't do that, we would have to regroup. 1 and 2 ninths can be written as, <laughs> not that, 1 times 9 is 9, plus 2 is 11, 11 ninths. And then so we end up with 5 plus 11 ninths minus 3 and 5 ninths, which will equal 5 minus 3, which is 2, and 11 minus 5 ninths, which is 6 ninths. We do have to simplify that. We can divide the numerator and denominator by 3 to get 2 and 2 thirds, and do make sure to write that whole number portion of the mixed number as well. Here's another example. Again, starting with the fraction, 1 fourth minus 3 fourths. We cannot do that, so we will need to regroup from the 8. We're going to take one of those holes and make it into a fourth. And that's why we're writing this as 1 and 1 fourth, and 7 plus 1 and 1 fourth. What's that 8 and 1 fourth? 
and we keep the other portion the same, 3 and 3 fourths. We next rewrite the 1 and 1 fourth as a mixed number. So we have 7 plus 5 fourths minus 3 and 3 fourths, and then we can do our work. 7 minus 3 first, which is 4, and 5 fourths minus 3 fourths, which is 2 fourths. 4 and 2 fourths can be simplified and reduced to 4 and 1 half. Okay, it's time for you to try. Here's 7 and 1 third minus 2 and 2 thirds. Go ahead and start by writing 6 plus 1 and 1 third minus 2 and 2 thirds. Next step will be to go ahead and make the 1 and 1 third into an improper fraction. After you make it into an improper fraction, then you can go ahead and continue your work. Go ahead and hit pause while you continue that work. Remember to simplify if you need to. One and one third as an improper fraction is four thirds. So we have six plus four thirds, which is that seven and one third, minus two and two thirds. Six minus two is four and 4 thirds minus 2 thirds is 2 thirds. So our answer is 4 and 2 thirds. Your turn again, 5 and 1 fifth minus 3 and 3 fifths. Press pause while you're working on this problem. Okay, first step, 4 plus 1 and 1 fifth minus 3 and 3 fifths. Then you can make 1 and 1 fifth into 6 fifths. So you have 4 plus 6 fifths minus 3 and 3 fifths. 4 minus 3 is 1, and 6 fifths minus 3 fifths is 3 fifths. So your answer is 1 and 3 fifths. And 1 and 3 fifths is in simplest form. Let's go ahead and review. We've got 7 and 1 third minus 1 and 2 thirds. We start with that fractional portions of those mixed numbers, 1 third minus 2 thirds, and we know we cannot do that. That way we know we can regroup from that 7. So the 7 and 1 third is broken down into 6. 6 plus what? I would have accepted 1 and 1 third. I would have also accepted 4 thirds if you made that change right then. We do copy over the rest of the problem. So again, 1 and 1 third as an improper fraction is 4 thirds. And we write that as an improper fraction so that we can go ahead and go 4 thirds minus 2 thirds. We'll start with the 6 minus 1, which is 5, and 4 thirds minus 2 thirds, which is 2 thirds. The other thing that we would need to do is to make sure that our answer is in simplest form.